Hi YouTubers, uh, I'm going to do a salt marsh again with some distance, like some hills, it could be Lake District, English Lake District, it could be a place that you know, I'm making it up. I've, I'm using the 90 pound Saunders Waterford Rough paper, a superb paper, <coughs> I got this from Ken Bromley in the UK. Uh, I've wet it and I've just let this letting the shine go off. I'm soaking it really. Uh, but I'm just about ready to put the first wash on when I get my watercolour paint. Oops, I'll obviously stay wet, can it? Um, I'll show you. That's my box, that's the Masterson Stay Wet palette. And I'll just take the lid off. It's not guaranteed watertight, but more or less, it's like very, very superior Tupperware. Very, very good quality. Right, there we are. My, my, uh, paint, my paint palette has been on a bit of old toweling, which I keep moist by spraying with water. Keeps all the paints nice and usable. You don't have to scrub away too much at them. So there we are. It's got yellow, cabin yellow, Raw Sienna, Elizabeth Crimson, Light Red, Ultramarine, Burnt Umber, Paints Grey and Burnt Sienna. Uh, that's the basic palette, the Von Ransom palette, with the exception of Cadmium Yellow and Burnt Sienna. I don't remember seeing that in the original Von Ransom palette. It was a Lemon Yellow, no Burnt Sienna, but the other colours are there. The, 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 the main ones are Ultramarine, my main ones, Ultramarine, Paints Grey, Cadmium yellow and raw sienna, some light red, very little alizarin, I don't know why, and a bit of uh, burnt umber. So I'm going to put a bit of uh, sienna, raw sienna, okay, you're nice, nicely mixed, just put some in, I see that's drying off nicely. But it's wet enough that it won't go into cauliflowers. Now because we're putting water in, let's put in a stronger mix in the foreground and the, the water. So it's easy to do, easier to do it at the beginning. So that's the reflection of the, the sky. Right, now we want a bit of bit of ultimate, I'm going to have to put some more out. Using the hakes you need to be able to control the water because you can have too much water in them. They hold a lot of water. So let's just put that in. It would be a bit darker in the foreground. Now we'll add a bit of red to that. To get a bit of cloud. Now I get a nice bit of dark across the, the bottom of that. Right. Just put a bit of shadow under the uh, under these clouds here. Right, okay, we won't do any more, more than that. I'm going to dry this now. Then I can get into the background. So I'm going to mute the sound.
Right, so that's sort of almost dry. I've probably got a bit higher with the, the blue there. I'm a bit carried away, but so I'm going to put in the... Uh, I'm using a, a previous one as a, as a basis for this. So sky colour, blue red, and This is such a lovely paper. Try to get the line on the top of your hills, distant hills, uh, solid. Because if you if you don't, it looks as if it's uh, broken. Right, so we'll put a bit of bit of horse here, bounce the animal in now. It's a bit dirty with Payne's grey from yesterday. Now that, that's gone a little bit hard. I hope it's a bit of yellow. Oh, we we'll had some greens in there, I think. A bit of green. Blue and uh, yellow. Nice green there. You want to vary the colours. So it's all a bit, all different. Right, now I've got to get that nicely, not going uphill on one side. I tend to go up on the right, it's probably because I'm right handed. Well, that's not too bad. You can do, put a horizon line, Frank Clark does on his. Right, let's uh, get some harder stuff in there now. Right, when you put in a background on wet on wet, because this is wet in wet, wet in wet, wet on wet, you need thick, thick paint, otherwise it won't stick. It'll just disappear into the background like that. Right, let's get some more of that blue in with that uh, burnt sienna. I really like doing these um, water scenes. Okay, just Payne's grey and a bit of burnt sienna. Try to make the distance all different, all the trees. Oh, good dark green in now. Right, let's just get some darker paint in there. I love the dark horizon. Somebody commented on on the previous one like this about the horizon. Being dark, reminded of a place he knew. Well, this is all done from memory. Let's 
put a bit of reflection in there. Let's just just touch it. I'll wet it so that it would bleed, bleed down. But I'm leaving just a margin of, of light. It's not done it very well. A bit dark on the top of that. So it just bleeds down. Alright, okay, see what's happening. You don't want your paper too steep for this and I could put in a little bit of that uh, burnt sienna uh, burnt, burnt, yeah burnt sienna and a bit of yellow from the, the from behind that so let's just okay well we probably wouldn't see a reflection of the distant hills but the uh, foothills yeah definitely I might put some detail on there or I might not right I'm going to dry that again oh um, yes yeah, so, and then I can just start to put in the marsh grass Quite difficult. I'm, I'm working the, the tablet. Uh, it's a bit difficult to sort of unmute. So, uh, I think that might be just a little bit bright. I don't know why. And a bit darker. I'm trying to do this on the new tablet and it's just not going forward. Oh no, bad. The brightness won't move. Oh, it is. I think that's that's about about right. I hope, hope it is. I've just got one more. Right, okay. So uh, get into some some grasses now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to use a sort of bluey green to start with. Let's give a bit of distance to the. Oh, that's a. Could do this with Frank Clark's uh, hike. Oh, 
Oh, let's get a bit of dark in there now. The paper is completely flat and considering the amount of water that's been on it Try and make all these sort of grasses look uh, different, you don't, the, the whole lot looking the, the same. As we come into the foreground we can put some, uh, I'll put some detail on, on that, a bit of paint's grey, a bit of red. Of several colours on the brush now. Just shed a bit of mud. Right, and then we'll put a bit of solid stuff here I'm going to use uh, Do some dark dark green now so I try to give the impression of some grasses sticking up so I'll put some grasses going up and I'll just drag them coming down but just but because the paper is rough it's quite hard to to show to get into the the hollows and I just saw what I'm doing just what goes up must come down Okay, I hope that's not too dark now. But okay. Right, I'm going to put some a bit of a bank coming out there. A little bit blue.
Right, now I'm going to use a smaller brush now. Uh, I've got a script brush, I, I, I love using this. So I want to put a darker bit of tree in. Okay, right, we can put a bit of some chunks on that. Right, that's I quite like that because I've never shown you this good brush. That's just a bit of detail now. I'm thinking of what I can put on there. Uh, uh, I was thinking of a bit of gouache, some little white buildings. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, right, a bit of bit of white, slightly blue, blue gouache. Let's see. sheep okay that hardly shows I want some dark now I just uh...
Don't know much about boats. I'm just putting uh, some sails in, obviously. These are supposed to be buildings. Just a little bit of a Right, I don't think I could do much more to that. Put a couple of birds in. Okay, well that'll do. I'll put a mouse on it. And we'll have a look. Then I've got some things to do. Uh, put, a, put a dark amount on. There we are. <coughs> it's probably a little bit too dark in here. I got carried away putting the reflection of the sky in the foreground. Uh, I could probably just stiffen up a little bit there it's not connected to to the oh dear that's not dry is it okay well let's have a bit of Right, okay, that'll do. I like the shape of those two. They <coughs> could have been perhaps a little bit bigger, but well, I'm going to give a bit of distance. don't like the shape of that sail. I'll uh, just take this up a little bit. Well, there we are. Uh, a bit more brightness. Yeah, I think that that's that's okay. I think the raw sienna doesn't show out show up too well. But I hope you enjoy that, folks. I'll see you later. Well, next week now. Bye bye.